turn off the lights. Okay, turn off the lights. Can you see anything? Yeah. Toss it down. Dude, it's not bright enough. Crack, here, crack the other one. I don't think you're throwing out enough light here. Anything? Uh, oh, what the? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck did I get saved? <laughs> Can you hear me? Do you need help? <laughs> burger! 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 What? Is everything okay? What's the problem? Dude, I just saw that girl from earlier. Something pulled her into the woods. Location unknown. It's 3 a.m. and an Uber driver has just dropped off his last customer. He is about to head home for the night, but first he decides to pull over to make a phone call. The dash cam that he has in his car for safety is still running. What you're about to see is the footage that it captured. You can clearly realize the exact moment when he realizes there's something in the back seat. He immediately tries to exit the vehicle on the driver's side, but the door will not open. He tries his best to remain calm and tries to get out the passenger side door, only to find that that door is also locked and won't open.
The video abruptly ends, and it's not known what happens after that. But one thing is very clear. Before you get into your car at night and drive away, always check the back seat. why you always lock your doors. On August 25th of 2023, a family submitted a horrifying video captured by their home surveillance cameras, where this third man is seen searching their property around 2 a.m. The man first tries breaking into a neighboring car, but after no success, he moves towards the family's house and starts looking through the windows. Unable to break in, he manages to open the front neighbor's car, but doesn't seem to find what he's looking for, so he goes back home. An hour or so Later, the man comes back, armed with a machete, aggressively seeking an unsuspecting victim. At this point, the family is aware of his presence as they try their best to stay hidden, waiting for law enforcement to arrive. Twenty minutes later, the police arrive at the scene, only to find the machete he left behind. Whoever this man was remains a mystery, as the family now lives in fear of another late night visit. This security footage was taken inside a shopping mall in China. This toy buggy, containing a doll, seems to have a life of its own as it travels across the store. As it turns, we see the doll inside. Suddenly, the doll itself starts to move within the buggy. Is this a paranormal phenomenon, or just an elaborate prank? Over in Ohio lies a creepy location known as Helltown, which is full of creepy and bizarre legends, from supernatural occurrences to devil-worshipping cults. Many people report that they can feel an ominous presence and a negative atmosphere just from being in the area, and based on its history, it comes as no surprise. The origin of the town started with a Native American tribe known as Lenape, Eventually, the Lenape were forced to leave the area, after many tragic battles took place between them and colonial American troops and settlers, which claimed many of their people's lives. Now the place is associated with fear and nightmares, leaving many people scared to go there. On one night, popular urban explorer Chris from Urbex Hill decides to explore Helltown all alone. From the moment he reaches Everett Covered Bridge, you can tell that the place gives off eerie vibes. But that doesn't stop Chris from traversing deeper into Helltown. And when he reaches a big old barn house, things take a turn for the worst. Barn of Hilltown. Just as he enters the satanic barn, his audio briefly cuts out on its own for a few seconds. But that's just the start of it. As he continues to walk on afterwards, it starts to get more creepy. It's like a little 
little shack back here. Surprised this barn is still standing despite how old it is. What the hell is that? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? His camera battery suddenly dies out, but during that time, some strange noises can be heard all at the same time, causing Chris to feel more uneasy and alarmed of what may be out there. It was most likely a pack of wild animals like coyotes howling, but it's hard to say. It could also have been something far more sinister. After sorting out his batteries, he continued to walk through Helltown, determined to explore the place, yet cautious of what may be lurking around. After a while, something terrifying makes him stop in his tracks. I keep hearing something, it sounds like it's following me. I keep hearing something. What does this lead to? I don't want to get lost. There's bugs everywhere. Something's over there. I can hear it. What looks like a pair of glowing eyes can be seen amidst the darkness off in the distance, and they appear to be gazing straight at Chris. He knew something was out there and he could hear something, as if this thing was following him and quickly hid when he looked towards its eyes. He then says whatever it is must have been at least six to eight feet tall, based on the height of the grass. Luckily Chris listened to his instincts and decided not to proceed further, and that he should leave before anything happens. So when you get the feeling that you're being watched in Helltown, it may just very well be true.
What you see here is a real photograph of the Green Man, also known as Charlie No Face. If you grew up in western Pennsylvania in the 1950s and 60s, you likely heard tales of a faceless man haunting remote streets at night. During this period, there were individuals who believed that he could be a ghost or ghoul, emitting a green glow, possibly due to a lightning strike or an industrial accident. Not everyone may know that the green man is a real person. When he was just eight years old, he got an electric shock while trying to reach a bird's nest on top of an electrical pole. This shock burned his face and arms, leaving holes where his eyes and nose used to be. The only reason why he went out at night was to avoid scaring people with his appearance. This is when high school kids would see him during their late night drives along State Route 351, unwittingly contributing to the spread of the Green Man legend. 